Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Create a Mark Framework. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a mark framework in Koha. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system 16.04 and Koha version 16.05. To follow this tutorial, learners should have knowledge of library science. To practice this tutorial, you should have Koha installed on your system and you should also have admin access in Koha. If not, please refer to the Koha Spoken Tutorial series on this website. Before we begin, note that frameworks can be edited or deleted. Super librarian can create their own frameworks for content specific to their libraries. Let us begin. Let me switch to the Koha interface. Login with super librarian username Bella and her password. Now we are inside the Koha interface as super librarian Bella. Go to Koha administration. Under the section Catalog, click on Mark Bibliographic Framework. A new page opens. Click on New Framework. Another page opens up, prompting us to fill in the details. Framework Code and Description In the field for Framework Code, I will type BK. For description, I will type Books. Next, click on Submit button at the bottom. On the new page that opens, go to the code BK, that is Books. From the tab Actions, click on Mark Structure. A new page, Mark Framework for Books, opens up. This shows tags from 1 to 20 of 313 tags. Note that there are total 313 default tags. I will select only a few tags for books. You may select tags as per your requirement. Notice here that there are options to edit or delete a tag. I will demonstrate how to delete. I will choose the tag number 010 Library of Congress Control Number. Upon clicking the Delete tab at the extreme right side, a pop-up window appears asking Confirm Deletion of Tag 010. Click on Yes. Delete this tag. Another window appears with the message Tag Deleted. Click OK. The same page Mark Framework for Books appears again. On this page, Tag Number 010 will no longer be shown. Similarly, delete any other tags which may not be relevant to a particular item type. To edit tags, Choose the Edit option. I will go for tag number 000, Leader. Then click on Edit. The following fields are filled by default by Koha itself. Label for LIB and Label for OPAC. Note that the label for LIB will show up in the staff client. The label for OPAC will show up on the mark view in the OPAC. As per your requirement, check the checkbox for repeatable and mandatory. I will check both these options. Note that if you click repeatable, then the field will have a plus sign next to it in cataloging. This is basically required for more than three authors or editors, allowing you to add many more details of the same tag. 
If you click mandatory, then the record will not be allowed to save unless you allocate a value to this particular tag. Let's go back to the Koha interface. After filling in all the details, click on Save Changes. In the new page that opens up, note that for tag number 000, Leader, Repeatable and Mandatory will appear as Yes. Next, let us learn how to enable Authority file. Go to Home, Go to Koha Administration, and click on Global System Preferences. Acquisition Preferences page opens. From the list of tabs on the left side, click on Authorities. Under the section General, start changing the value of preference as follows. For Auth Display Hierarchy, change the value by selecting Display from the drop-down. For Auto-Create Authorities, change the value Do Not Generate to Generate. For Biblio Ads Authorities, select Allow. For Don't Merge, select Do. Leave Mark Authority Control Field 008 and Unimark Authority field 100 as it is. For Use Authorities for Tracings, select Use. Under the section Linker, default values should be retained for Catalog Module Relink, Linker Keep Stale, Linker Module, Linker Options, and linker relink. Now click on save all authority preferences. This completes all the setup required for MARC framework. Now log out from the Super Librarian account. To do so, first go to the top right corner, click on Spoken Tutorial Library, then from the drop down Select Logout. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to create a MARC framework. For assignment, on the page MARC Framework, create a new MARC framework for serials. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Bella Tony from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.